Taking a quick look at Huawei's larger 2017 flagship, we finally have a P10 Plus in-house to play with. Overall, it shouldn't be a surprise how similar this is to the regular P10 we recently reviewed. As you would expect, the screen size and resolution grow. We get 64 and 128 gigabyte storage options, the latter with six gigabytes of RAM. The battery gets a sizable bump and the IR blaster found on the Honor 8 and Mate 9 makes a triumphant return. I really love that feature. Now, a two-phone release strategy often counts on a smaller phone and a medium phone, which means we should expect a larger mate in the second half of the year. The design language doesn't change one iota from the smaller P10, front-mounted fingerprint sensor, flush rear cameras, and we're happy to see another phone with this hyper-cut rear metal housing. It's a playful, shimmery effect, and our smaller blue P10 hasn't shown off any wear or egregious smudges in the weeks we've used it. We're also really happy to see a proper splash-resistant certification for the Plus. IPX3 isn't the most exciting, but rated protection from lifestyle damage should always be pointed out. Looking at ergonomics, the increase in size does introduce more of a reach for folks with smaller hands, unlocking or navigating from the front sensor. I've gotten my muscle memory down pat for the smaller P10, but swiping the home button to pull up multitasking cards is proving more difficult to nail consistently. Still one advantage the Mate 9 has with its rear fingerprint sensor, it's a much bigger phone, but I don't have to reposition it in my hand to get it to unlock. We're watching phones start packing more screen into smaller form factors. But a 5.5-inch 16x9 display, Huawei has done a respectable job of not wasting too much space. Overall dimensions ever so slightly smaller than a Pixel XL with better use of that front chin bezel. And overall performance remains high. The Kirin 960 chipset is still currently the top dog in all of our testing and will likely remain so until the Galaxy S8 drops with one of its respective 10 nanometer chipsets. The increase in screen resolution seems to have had only a small detrimental effect in benchmarking, which has been almost completely imperceptible in daily use. Happily, the Plus designation does represent a small boost to the audio capabilities over the smaller P10. We adopt the same stereo speaker solution as the Mate 9. In portrait, the top speaker and bottom divide high and low frequency audio. In landscape, the duties are split a bit more left channel and right channel. It should be mentioned, though, that like the Mate 9, the top speaker is significantly weaker and tinnier than the bottom, so consumers should not expect a true stereo split. Headphone performance is subtly but nicely improved over the P10, signal-to-noise ratio is increased with a reduction in the overall noise floor, and while the Plus still isn't going to be a top delivery system for output gain, the amp on board is a little louder than the smaller P10. It all adds up to a nicer overall system, especially for folks looking to drive nicer cans. But one small issue in conducting our battery bench, this phone refused to dial in our specific testing brightness, landing significantly brighter or dimmer in a pretty sudden jump. We're posting numbers here while running the phone almost 50% brighter than we normally would, so this result isn't directly comparable against our other reviews. Still, considering the powerful chipset, increase in resolution, and brightness, the Plus still manages healthy video streaming numbers against competing flagships. And in considering daily use, it's not difficult running the Plus for a full day, night, and an additional day with light use. Also on tap is Huawei's supercharger fast charging system. Even with the larger battery, expect a short stint on the charger to deliver hours of additional runtime. Lastly, checking out the camera, we felt it was important to address some of the replies we'd received on our P10 coverage. Uh, several people left comments that seemed to indicate that the Plus somehow had a newer or better camera system. Well, we've got the same image sensors, same sensor sizes, and same pairing of resolutions. The difference is increasing the aperture from f2.2 to f1.8. Now, we'll be releasing a real camera review later this week, but we can make a few predictions here. We're not expecting radically different camera performance. At macro distances, the natural background bokeh blur from the lens should be a bit softer, though that might make macro focus a little trickier. In low light situations, we should expect to see slightly faster shutter speeds or slightly lower ISOs for similar exposures. But what do we know about Leica and Huawei? 
In terms of image processing, they're not afraid of keeping noise in images. That grain can add to the texture or feel of a photograph. We've been digging deep into these cameras with the P9 and the Mate 9, and the Plus should be another step on the evolution of this dual camera system. Evolution, not revolution, but we'll save conclusions for that real camera review. So let's wrap this up. Where's that leave us with the P10 Plus? What we have here is a small philosophical question. Should a regular and Plus phone release be separate screen sizes, or should they include different features for the changes in the size of the phone? Take a Galaxy S8 and an S8 Plus. The major differences are screen size and battery size. Now looking at Apple, Apple will change the resolution as it climbs up to the larger phone. And Huawei takes that a step further with different storage and RAM options, improved audio, and the inclusion of the IR blaster, creating an even wider spread between these P10s. We look forward to your thoughts in the comments down below, and you can vote in the viewer poll, which just popped up on your screen. But outside of that philosophical discussion, the P10 Plus is a killer handset, one of the most powerful Android phones available today, a terrific feature set, premium options, and Huawei's first foray into lifestyle durability with rated splash protection. And while we're starting to see more devices arrive with taller screens, the P series from Huawei feels like a great way to send off phones with 16x9 displays. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more reviews like these and be on the lookout for our P10 Plus real camera review so you can see what this Leica is really capable of. And help us out with some sharing on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next review.